Hey everybody, Will Tompkins here, Tom Cruise Studios, Live Music in Austin, bringing you another episode, episode number eight of Three Beers and a Whiskey, featuring Ben Davis and Anthony Stevenson from Come and Take It Live, located on Riverside Drive in Austin, Texas. Here's whiskey and beer number three, although I think Ben has been drinking whiskey the whole time, so I don't know. So I'll start off with you, Anthony. Do you prefer whiskey or do you prefer beer? Oh, such an awesome question. Whiskey? Because I'm watching my girl's figure. Uh, whiskey? Yeah. Really? Okay. Awesome. No, no, I'm gonna answer that shit for Ben because I I, I drink my beer. I'm, because hey, I've noticed you're a beer and a half down, and I told you it's gonna be three whiskeys and a beer. So, yeah, so go for a it. beer and a half down. Yeah, that's my second. I'm number three is gonna come here in a second. Well, then we're drinking some whiskey. Cheers. cheers. So, so as you're, I'm sorry to interrupt. As you're sipping your whiskey. What are these fine bottles of whiskey? Oh, oh yeah, hey! Let's talk about the whiskey tonight. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, so our buddy Lester, uh, who owns Iron Wolf Distillery, it's a local uh, distillery that does whiskey. They're actually coming out with a gin and a vodka very soon. Hmm. Um, this bourbon is, is brand new. I believe it's a four-year. We were drinking a little bit the other night when you told me about it, so I'm going to try to do my best to make it make sense. Um, hey, Kendall, how's that bourbon? Is it all right? It was pretty smooth, all right. Yeah, we had we had somebody to try it over here that's being all quiet. At so. the very at the very least, if it's uh it's it's it is local and Lester is a uh, uh, a big supporter of the Austin just Austin scene in general, uh, specifically the the live music scene. Spent some time at the bar and comes by and shows his love quite a bit. Uh, so we've got the regular bourbon, which I believe is a four year, and I don't even think it's out on the market yet. Uh, I'm not real sure. Uh, again. Towards the end of the conversation, got sketchy with me and him. Uh, <laughs> There's some bourbon involved in Yeah, a little bit of it. Uh, and we've been carrying these two for a while at the club. The Iron Hot, which is a cinnamon, kind of a cayenne-ish. What, what are you drinking right now? Is this the Iron Hot I or believe, is this the... This is the Iron Hot. Okay. And uh, then the Hot Scotch, which is a butterscotch with a little bit of like a... If you can imagine like a Mrs. Werther's with cayenne pepper. Yeah, no, that's, that's a damn good... Cause I tried that one right, uh, right when we were going live or whatever. But yeah, that one is it. it is it's tasty. Yeah, it's like we've, uh, we push hot. It's, it's, it's hard sugar. for a new brand, a new market, to, uh, a new brand to come to market and people pay attention to it. Very often, specifically, like we're, we're not just a bar that people come and sit and hang out and stare at the bottles. They come in, they get their ticket, they get a drink, and they go to watch the show. So we don't get to push a whole lot of new product very often. So uh, when we get a chance to push something. Uh, new and people are receptive to it. We keep throwing it down their face, and people have really enjoyed that. It seems yeah. y'all aren't only open just for shows, or or is that the primary? Coming from Sixth Street, where you could almost do anything you want any day of the week, and someone would walk in. Right, it's a whole different element on Riverside. We were just talking about this today with Price. It's it's kind of a it's kind of a hard thing to uh, to wrap your head around. You've been on Sixth Street for damn near twenty years, like I was, where it's just. Just open the doors and somebody will come in. But we've tried to come up with other events. Uh, this coming year, we've got some other things planned. Again, uh, the, now we have the screen, some kind of Super Bowl parties, uh, crawfish boils, uh, barbecue cook-offs, that kind of thing. More uh, barbecue cook-offs. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah, more involved things that, that, that we don't have shows. Because you can only do so many shows a week, right? I mean, there's only so many shows that people yeah. are going to come see. Uh, then I, and again, we're trying to broaden our spectrum of genres as well. I know we've been doing home as a metal bar. You know, we're trying to broaden everything. So we love the metal community. We want to stay that way. We want to stay their home for sure. Yeah, absolutely. But, but let's be real. You put seven metal metal shows on a week. Eh, uh, it's gonna be rough. I have a question for okay. Anthony. Anthony. <laughs> He's wearing his beard out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what what's on your playlist right now? Ooh. Uh, on your Ooh. wait wait. So is it Do you, you have, have a playlist on your phone or where are you listen to your music at? Uh, so pull it out and hit the YouTube, YouTube music and <laughs> I, can, I can answer this for you. I'm not sure when he actually listens to music because every time we try to talk about anything, it's just email. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. can tell you who I've been listening to recently. Go for it. A uh, bunch of Stephen Marley, a bunch of uh, Waylon Willie. Yeah. He is legend. Nathaniel Ratliff. Oh, uh, shit. There you yeah, go. Bring me a beer. Yeah. 
Um, Marley, is that the son of? Is that or is one it of the many? Um, okay. So we have a candle says that his cousin. Oh plays shit! For yeah. the thieves. Thieves. Thieves is played at y'all's place. Oh, yeah. 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 Great and yeah. Great. the atmosphere at Come and Take It was what made it the best show. Yeah, I don't hurt. Thank and you. you know what? Thieves is right a here. fantastic oh. thing. Thieves, they, they hustle, they bust their ass, man, and their their stuff is fantastic too. Yeah. So I'm sure you guys have seen just everything, like musicians and just bands and everybody that comes through your doors. <laughs> Any surprise guests that have ever just been like, ah, like what? You're here? Oh, somebody that showed up at your venue that you didn't even expect, or know, and you're like, all of a sudden, you're like, are you? Yes. Do it. Yep. Yep. He's calling you out on it. I see he's calling you out on that. This actually wasn't at, at Come and Take It Live. Uh, I'm assuming that's what you're talking about. Or which one are you talking about? No. We'll at Come uh, and Take It Live. Ben. That, well, there was a... Oh. Pass it on. That's Anthony's. Anthony. Anthony. Hey. And this is your, you're welcome. Sounds good. Who are you talking about? Uh, was I wasn't there for it. But, I mean, oh, Charlie Sexton rolled through one night. No, shit. Yeah. 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 I think it's kind of Charlie, circle. yeah, absolutely. It was a big deal to me. And uh, I didn't actually get it to, I haven't met Charlie before. I've, I've met, uh, uh, Will. I've met Will. Uh, Will used to do something with, uh, with Jason McMasters, I believe, in some kind of school yeah. of rock, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but when I was, uh, when I was, uh, Growing up, and I was a huge fan of some of the things that brought me to Austin were uh, Doyle Bramhall, Ian Moore, mm -hmm. Mark Angel, Storyville, that whole bit. And so for Charlie Sexton, and we were fairly new, open, I, 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 like four or five months open, and I don't ever have any idea what show he's there to see. Uh, but he just walked in, and I was like, that's really cool. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, it was kind of a full circle thing for me, and I, he wasn't there that night. I texted him and was like, you're not going to believe who walked in just now. And uh, <clears throat> Price, I think, kind of fanboyed him a little bit. <laughs> and I, I, I try not to do that. There's been some people in there that I've really just wanted to go up and like, hey. I, but, I, but, I, but, I, but I stayed away. I, 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 don't, I don't let myself do it. Uh, Jesse James showed up one day randomly. Okay. Uh, and it was kind of oh, a weird yeah, yeah. occurrence. And that's that's all I remember. It, it, it come and take it. There's been some really crazy shit that happened to Dirty Dog with me, but we'll leave that alone. Uh, man, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just tell you that Matthew McConaughey is, is, is Matthew McConaughey is a very fun individual to be around. <laughs> it's like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he'd show up every once in a while, and we'd just get I down and have a, a Dirty Dog, yeah. <clears throat> and we'd just get down and have a blast. Man, he was he was a lot of fun. Uh, really cool dude to hang out with, and he'd bring some. Uh, some celebrities with him, to say the least, uh, on occasion. Uh, but yeah, that's a let's yeah, leave the story. It sounds like a totally horrible life. Like uh, I was working on Six Street, you know, Matthew McConaughey. If, you, if you're curious, Will Ferrell. If you're curious, I'll tell you. Come down to the bar one day and I'll tell you the story. It was it, if it. it it could so have been made a movie. There, <laughs> there you go. A reason to go to come and take. There you go. There you go. Show up. Find Ben somewhere in the bar. And be like. Tell me the Matthew McConaughey dirty dog story. <laughs> it was the people to hang over. <laughs> I'll just tell you this. It was uh, it was in the middle of South By. I want to say it was a Friday night of South By. Oh, which South By? 2010, 11 oh, maybe. Hot. Okay, that's nice. Uh, we had Hole that night. Courtney Love was there, mm -hmm. which was already already a spectacle in itself. Oh, and I don't mind talking anything about right. her. I'll tell you that whole story. She, it was, she was, uh, I, I was kind of upset about it at first, but then the, my contact at South by who kind of does all, he called me the next day, he was like, Ben, you had the biggest rock show in Austin, Texas last night. I was like, not, not uh, size-wise, size. but she just the draw, the, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. She showed up late, she showed up in the wrong, and she showed up, she got served papers in and out of the bar, she got, you know what I mean, like crowd served. Holy shit. It was, wow. it, like, it was, it was, a, it was amazing, like, the, you know, and I, I, was, I was mad at first, I was like, what, what? Why? And then he called me the next day and was like, you had, it's all over the newspaper. And I was like, you know what? You're not wrong. If you're going to do it, just get it. There <laughs> just you go. And she did it. She did out. it hard. But uh, that next, unfortunately, that next day, I had to be there for a private party at 9 a.m. And oh. I'm not going to tell you what time it was that I finally got McConaughey out of the bar. <sighs> I slept on top of the bar. I have yeah. another question. Um... So how the hell do I become a club owner? Like, what's the whole? <laughs> 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 
Because good lord, the fun, the fun times are fun, don't get me wrong, but me, when it's not good, it is rough. It's like herding cats on a daily basis, oh, Jesus and if you, if, you think about, if you think about a giant playground full of wild children that are as big or bigger than you, that can possibly whip your ass, or send you to jail, or any variation of things adult. That's what it's like, because you don't know what's going to happen from one minute to the next. And I, I, I thought I've seen it all after almost 20 years doing this, no and then you can't see it. All. Just the other night, another thing that I was like, I've never actually seen that. What the? Okay, yeah, that, it's fun. It's a lot of fun, but it's uh, it's a ton of work too. A lot of people think that you just you go, you buy the bar, you go home, and then you start collecting checks. So not the case at all. Yeah. Let's let's go with thankfully most people they can email all day long. Phone doesn't start until 10 a.m. Now it's still an early day. But that's still at 8 a.m. Now he has to do that with kids. But uh, Mayor, yeah, that's yeah. yeah. I managed to avoid that somehow up until recently. But uh, oh, just wait, 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 wait. He you just mean? jinxed it. <laughs> oh, that's already happened. <laughs> yeah, it's already it's already coming. Wait, hold on. Yes, sir. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, sir. He's gonna be popping, man. <laughs> Maybe we drank that much. <laughs> no, we did not talk about it. We did one of the two. Wow. Know. Congratulations, sir. So, I'm, so I'm, I'm, I guess I'm about to figure out that line, but he's been doing it for a couple of years now. Yeah. Thank you very much for tuning in to that episode of Three Beers and a Whiskey featuring Ben Davis and Anthony Stevenson from Come and Take It Live. Uh, appreciate y'all. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, little bell notification to come back, and make sure you catch future videos from Three Beers and a Whiskey. Y'all have a good night.